Controlling the skies is essential for the Afghan National Army to provide their own security. Marine Corporal Brian Lett has more. Crew chiefs from the U.S. and Afghan National Armies are teaming up for the first time in the history of Afghanistan. So We're taking the, uh, the local Afghan crew chiefs that work on the, the MI-17s and uh, showing them a little bit about what we do in the Black Hawk, try to give them uh, the same training that we receive for our crew chiefs to be able to do the job to the best of their ability. The training consists of two separate portions, beginning with classroom exercises and then going up in the Black Hawk helicopter to gain first-hand experience. They're going to sit in the, black, in the back of a Black Hawk and watch our crew chiefs and pilots fly. They're going to be in a headset and just listen in. Just going to give them a bird's eye view of what we've been teaching them in the class. And they're actually going to see it being implemented and done by our crew chiefs. The next phase of training begins once the Afghan crew chiefs have graduated the initial three-week course. About the 6th of March, they're going to start the Air Assault Academy, where they go out and train and do missions side by side with the, uh, with the U.S. Army. Afghan crew chiefs attending the course are eager to learn and pass on the knowledge to their peers who were not able to attend. Other members of the ANA are very interested to come here and learn, but they didn't get the chance. I just want to give them my experience from what I learned. I'll tell them that the U.S. troops here have the best techniques I've ever seen. I'll try my hardest to learn these techniques and pass them on. Both the U.S. and Afghan crew chiefs hope this training will lead to Afghans flying missions on their own, therefore giving the Afghan army more tools in the defense of their country. Marine Corporal Brian Lett, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.